in case anyone wants to see it. In regards to, I want to address, may I address what the developer mentioned in regards to calling me a We are part of the bureau. What? Are you, I think you can hear. I can hear. Go ahead and speak. I, okay. At some point, I'm sure speak. they'll tell me this when you're out of order. Being, being a, a tax there is no witch hunt. What would happen is the residents were informed and they acted based on the information they received. This, whether it came to land use or didn't come to land use, this was going to come out. If you guys thought that putting it 24 hours in advance it was not, it was going to come out. They were going to be aware of it. So the allegation of it being a witch hunt and mostly about the developers stating that the email we had interaction to clarify some information his daughter called after the June 13th land use meeting and said she felt intimidated by a community member and did not want to return to land use. And in there. that conversation, Wait. she stated that she was going to talk to her team and come back. Her father called her back, and that's what he said at the meeting, that she said at the meeting, because he did not want it to return to land use. And you made a statement at the special general board meeting that he wanted this yes, meeting as much as it was for the stakeholders. So there's some information that's there. I want to address what Mr. Scott Johnson said about conflicts of interest. I do not have any conflict of interest. And I made that very clear to the developer as well. Um, in regards to lack of outreach, the letter that was submitted, the letter of support that was dated given to the developer states that there was a, uh, let me read it, I'm gonna read it. It says, extensive outreach efforts by BCDI were impressive and highly regarded by our neighborhood council. How come no one can provide us the information that that outreach was actually done? Well, I requested it. She's not addressing the yes I'm or the no. I'm She's addressing going the around letter. it. I'm addressing the letter. Okay. So the that isn't the issue. Let her finish. So the chair is not Thank you. Yeah, okay. the letter, so I'm a lot of free conversation at this point. I, the letter, I know that they may not agree with me, but oh, I yeah. love free I just want to make it clear so people understand this and the board members understand why it came to this level. Thank you. Stakeholders read this letter. Pa uh, uh, public records back request was submitted. No one can provide the information, nor the developer, because I have an email requesting the uh, information of what type of outreach was done to be able to present to the community that it was done. Nothing was provided. I was given a packet of agendas that came from the land use development and the general board meeting, and that's when we found out that it was improperly posted, first of all, and that the it's questionable in regards to the main second action that was taken. There's no supporting documentation to say that there was any land use vote, and there's proof an email that we have from Anthony sending it solely to board members that the meeting was postponed on May 8th as a continuance, and because May 2nd the meeting occurred, and there's a continuance on May 8th, there was an email from Anthony saying that it is to be continued for May 9th, and there's an agenda on there that shows this item is still open. So the question is, in all fairness, the community has the right to know of the project. What did come up is at the land use development meeting when this developer first came in, that um, it was questioned whether it was a parking complex from town home, which was originally presented to the board of town home. The developer had changed it, and there was a letter that was distributed to the residents, which clearly said a parking complex, and that was the question. When that came to light, the developer came back and said, okay, we're going to keep it back to town home. However, that is not the way that it's presented to the city. We had a parking complex. So even the prior board meeting should have researched the rule of the city to verify that it was a parking complex that was presented to the city, not town home.
that she couldn't speak on that because she wasn't speaking on the matter, the yes or the no. So you, you, uh, you got her out of order, which was fine at that time, but you did. This board member started to speak on the issue and addressing the issue that she had. That was out of order because then you changed and said that you're entertaining free speech no matter what. And then she actually that she got out of point <coughs> and out of discussion. Uh, just to be fair, Mr. Thompson, do you see the two motion since you're correcting the chair at this point? I'm, I'm, I'm not correcting it. it, it well, because she used that word of hypocrisy. I'm saying. Okay? And, and the fact is that you were allowed <laughs> something that you did not allow the uh, Madam President, that's not Madam President right I now, you, to so speak on the motion that she wanted to do. You, so just speak to the motion or not. You should be consistent, you know. And she did I, not I, I, I'm sorry, this is the game for me. That is hypocrisy. this for the same reason I, I spoke against the other one. Uh, this, this initiative process and the petition process, and I'll, 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 I'll give you the fact that you pick, bring it down to the motion point, there's still more than 50 words in this thing. You have to have the initiative process, 50 words, 50 signatures. I, I don't understand what is so difficult to understand about that. When you have 50 words, you have 50 signatures, this is more than 50 words, and you don't have any signatures. We don't care. You know, maybe next Thursday we'll do something else, and then maybe the next meeting uh, we'll change it all over again because it doesn't matter how we do things. It just matters what we do today. And we ran this thing through, and uh, we just support all the processes and all, all, all the structure that we work on. Outreach. This company has done outreach. I've, I've got stacks of stuff here for outreach. <laughs> Going back to 2009. But a prior board, prior to the one May 2nd, 2012, voted unanimously to go ahead and support this. With individuals that I think have some pretty good smarts. If you look at if you look at how that land use committee was structured back then. Mr. Carvajal, who did the land use committee in, in May of 2012, did a nice job. And I, I am, you know, I it would take a lot, I think, if you want to really question his integrity on getting out there and actually doing the work that that committee did. And just to say, ah, that doesn't matter. Because it only matters what we do today. So you're not really giving these people any respect, really, for the hard work that they did. If this board comes back here next year and say, we don't care if McGuire, we can get uh, here today, August 7th, uh, 2013, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, so what are we doing here, really? Back in, there was a lot of outreach, and there is documentation that's been 
agenda. There are minutes. I wish you'd pass these minutes out here. These are the minutes from May 2nd. These are the minutes from May 2nd. Uh, 2012. It was raw. Substantiated by an agenda here that Mr. Manzano had. It gave to the, at that time, the court and secretary. Uh, the court and secretary. Okay. Followed by an agenda that was in June. Where Doug came and took over. And um, where this thing sort of moved forward. Let's not pretend that there wasn't any outreach. And let's not pretend that there's not any information. Staring you in the face, for God's sake. No signatures, okay, more than 50 words. You gotta kill it. I'm sorry, folks, I'm sorry. You gotta get it right. You don't wanna get it right? What the hell are we doing? You know what? What are we doing here? Really? I mean, well, I'm here. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this puppy dog.
And for the people who are on that act for that is on this committee, we did our job. Okay? In the sake of time, what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, and is take this back to the committee, vote this down, because this was a process. No. The process was that we had a land use committee, a bar to action. We voted. It hasn't been put on the record yet, the minutes haven't been approved by committee. But we voted that the community and the property owner needed to engage in a dialogue, brief a neighborhood council attendant, basically neighbor to neighbor. And that still needs to be done. And Mr. Benegas has said he's going to do that. So, the minutes are here. And if we want to go back and look at the passport, I'm sorry to say, but we voted on the language that you call 711. If I want to do a public records request on the form of approved minutes, they can follow that process. I don't think I'm going to get them. Uh, I'm going to make it brief, everybody. My name is Anthony, and it's a little discouraging to see the way the board, the stakeholders, the committee, and everything's been functioning in the last maybe two months, maybe three months. I've noticed it as a board member. I've seen the change from being the previous president. <clears throat> the whole process that's being set up tonight and I'm going to read from the bylaws, which does give an opportunity for the stakeholders, is not intended to apply to the stakeholders who merely disagree with the position or action taken by the board. Meaning, we're here to follow a process, and we did that. Even if it was five years ago, or even last year, that decision is binding, because we're the neighborhood council. If you guys are unsatisfied with it, then you file a grievance, but you're not allowed to stand and say, we just don't like your answer, change your mind. That refers to my colleague over here. I'm not in the scope of changing my mind. We're here to stand by our position because if we change our mind today, in 2016, there's gonna be different people up here and they're gonna say, what? Well, let's change their mind. And let's change their mind. And what you're gonna do, and as you see in the records, is what we're doing is we're going backwards. How far backwards? We've already gone back seven years. I'm here to move forward. This is past us. It's seven years ago, and what are we doing? We're talking about an issue that was heard seven years ago. Last year. So instead of going backwards, we need to hear this issue, work with the developer, follow the procedures, follow the bylaws. The bylaws claim the state. If this is gonna be a referendum, you need 100 signatures. That in itself doesn't mean 50. It says you guys follow the bylaws. Someone put it on here, like the chair mentioned. The referendum process means if you want us to actually change our mind, it needs 100 signatures. And I don't know who guided you guys through this, but you guys didn't get them. You guys only turned in 73 or 76. There's only 73 or 76. So that in itself would exclude accepting the process. Hold on, hold on. That's under the referendum, which you, which you mentioned. Yeah. This is not a referendum. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. And I'm going to mention it once again, and I'll take it right out of the bylaw. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Yes. I have a favor. Thank you. 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 This, your, your agenda states, I mean, this isn't an initiative motion, this is not a referendum. A referendum, well, without getting too much into it, it would to request uh, that the board reconsider an action that the board has taken. Correct. That's what we're doing. No. This, no. this board has not taken board, but To rescind the letter yeah. is an action by the board. It doesn't it's say this board. board. Just, to, just to be clear for the board, we're considering an, an initiative process. This is not a referendum. I keep hearing the word referendum, and this is not a referendum. That is on your Bibles on page 14. Uh, yeah, and there's uh, in the middle of page 14 of your Bibles, you have copies of it. I have a copy here, but I just wanted to clarify that. It's not a referendum process. Thank you. Whether it's a referendum or not, I'm going to read from the bylaws in a different section. It states. He's addressing the public. He has to address the chair. I'm addressing the chair. If you wish to read or follow along, it says matters involving procedural dispute, page 16. Such as the board's failure to comply with the rules or the bylaw. It is not intended to apply to stakeholders who merely disagree with the position or action taken by the board of one of its meetings. You know, meaning this whole process is something that we're trying to follow. And I'm here to listen to the stakeholders. And I heard you guys at the executive committee meeting. But the difficult You're part about the the public is trying again. to address the chair. I'm facing this, but I'm speaking to the chair. The difficult part about it is addressing each and everybody's concern, everybody's issue, I'm going to ask that you guys and my colleagues would vote no on accepting this because what it does is it sets a precedent for going back to what my colleague mentioned.
thinking is changing your mind. We have to stand by the position that we've taken. Whether we don't like it or we do, we are still the neighborhood council and we have to respect that. Thank yeah, it's your letter, that's why I came out. Let's see. We have this copy here, thank you. I call for a report, it's biased. Okay, then there's been a call for a vote which takes priority. A, there's a second. At this point, we're all gonna vote whether or not we should vote now or continue discussion. All of the my ethic discussion, take a vote, please raise your hat. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to, well, okay. George? <coughs> yes. Okay. Quickly, we're going to light the Okay, off. Roxana? Yes. Okay, again? And the shorthand here. Okay, Eddie? Yes. Did you call my name? Ruben? Yes. Okay. Okay, Connie? Anthony? Yes. Okay, Cynthia? Yes. I think it's pretty much that no, we passed it. All right. Well, let's let's be formal here. Uh, anybody else? Oppose. Abstention. Okay. All right. Stop. Don't do that for you. Did call one Miguel? Yes, you call. No, he did call. I did call. You called me. Yeah, I called Miguel before you, Ruben, and then you said so. I went back. I got you called. Okay. I'm in the permanent one. Okay. Mix? No, or yes? What? See. Okay. Okay, now we got it. All right, we're going to vote on the motion. The guy has it properly. Can I got to read it again? That the LA 32 NC support El Sereno residents' petition to rescind the letter dated May 28, 2012, by the formerly seated LA 32 board member. Residents request annulment of this letter based on the fact that no records have been provided to the general public. And that is the motion to be voted on. Okay. Going down the road. All those in favor of the motion, please raise their hand. Going down the road, Mr. Chair. Any more vote calls? Looks like. Excellent. He says president's on me. That's fine. Go ahead. Okay. All those in favor of the motion, please raise their hand. I have to look, oh, I can't, uh, read it again. It's, it's right here, Eddie. Right, right. Okay, don't do it again. And the LA 32 NC support El Sereno residents petition to send the letter dated May 28, 2012 by the formerly seated LA 32 board member. The residents request annulment of this letter based on the fact that no records have been provided to the general public.